All right, Shalom. Shalom, giving our praises, our glory, our honors unto Yahweh. By Shemi Al Shah, by Shemi Kadash. The blondness to the apostles, bishops, elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is Brother Zion. I'm from Atlanta back again with a new update to the MOTB. And um, this here is from Yahoo News. And it says, Wichita now requires all dogs and cats to be micro C, micro C hip. See what else is changing. Now, when I spoke on, on this topic before, dealing with uh, pets, you know, having to be micro C hip, that was dealing with coming into the country. All right. And uh, the Apostle Har, uh, I believe he did the video yesterday. He was speaking on uh, Trump saying that he was going to basically complete and put in place the, uh, the biometric entry exit tracking system. And that's dealing with humans. So um, they're already, and see, this doesn't get talked about enough when it comes to the topic of the MOTB dealing with um, micro C hip and dogs and cats because they're using dogs and cats having to have this technology embedded in them as the precursor to what they're going to do with uh with humans okay so if you take your dog out of the country and bring it back here to the u.s it has to have a micro c hip okay and you can look that up so now you're having different states. I believe in Texas is one. And then um, there's other states too. But now this one is dealing with uh, Wichita and Kansas. Uh, your dog is going to have to have this micro C hip technology. Okay. So the next step is it having to be required in humans. Okay. So let me read some of this. It says, all Wichita dog and cat owners will now be required to micro C hip their furry friends after a city council vote during a 10 hour long meeting Tuesday. Now, around this time last year, 2023, August 2023, over there in the UK, uh, their pets also had to have micro C hips. OK. Uh, I'm not sure. If it was in a you know a particular city or country in the UK, um, maybe it's London, but that was put on their books too. So now it's over here in the states. Okay, it says now owners are required to micro see here their dogs and cats five months and older, and that's the the um, one thing that I've noticed: five months and older pets have to have these. Um, the C hips in them. It says it, it says uh, it's about the size of a grain of rice, and is implanted between the pet's shoulder blades. The micro C hip includes a code. That code ties in. It's going to tie in with when it's required in humans. That's going to tie in to the UPC code barcode system. I did an in-depth lesson on that the other day. That's going to be uh, the fulfillment of Revelation 13 and 18. Once this thing goes worldwide and mandatory for humans, but they're doing this in pets, dogs, cats. OK, the micro C hip includes a code with the owner's information, but does not have tracking capabilities. <laughs> and they do. They do. You know, at this point. Uh, just Google it. OK. All they have to do is put GPS on these uh, chips, okay? Um, and that's it on that, all right? Let me go to the next one. Now, this here is dealing with the MOTB and the forehead. Uh, the technology, as I've been saying for the longest, is the elites of Esau have now given these different university scientists and uh, tech, tech companies to do human trials with these brain-computer interfaces. 
All right. So when they introduced the MRTB for certain people with medical issues, whether it be neurological or otherwise, um, this brain computer interface tech is going to be the MOTB. It says revolutionary brain computer interface gives voice to ALS patients. August 16th, 2024. Okay. And this is from Open Access Government. So it says scientists at UC Davis Health have unveiled a cutting edge BCI that translates brain signals into speech with an astounding 97% accuracy. And see, they use these studies, these scientists and these universities as testing grounds to, to um, develop the technology. And when it's fine tuned enough, that's when it goes public. Okay. It says the achievement marks a significant leap forward in assisting individuals with severe speech impairments, such as those caused by amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS. Uh, matter of fact, let me look this up. ALS, I've heard of it. Let's see what it is. ALS it is a neurodegenerative disease, right, dealing with the brain. So the miracle that the beast is going to introduce with this technology, because the MOTB is technology, is is not seeing in all its form, is not believing in the white man and joining his 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 military, is not sleeping with white women, it's not John three sixteen, it's not big countries and small countries and all the 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 stuff these sellout Israelite groups say. All right, it is technology. Because a miracle would be taking someone that has a disease that would seem to be un- incurable in that individual or as a whole, as far as medicine concerned, and then you give them this device, this technology, put it in their body, and all of a sudden they're able to, um, you know, interact somewhat normal. That's a miracle. And that's what's going to be introduced soon. Okay. It says published today in the prestigious New England Journal of Medicine, the study showcases how the BCI enabled a man suffering from advanced ALS to communicate his thoughts within minutes of activation. That's the miracle. Restoring essential communication abilities. This new technology promises to restore essential communication abilities for people incapacitated by paralysis or neurological conditions. The, part, the, the participant and his pioneering research is Casey Harrell, a 45-year-old with ALS. A 45 is, is young, okay? A disease notorious for grabbing, for gradually robbing individuals of their ability to move and speak. So this lines right up with the forehead when you read Revelation uh, uh, Revelation 13 and 16. Because the Greek word for forehead, when you look it up and you do your, your due diligence and studies, is the Greek word metapon. Uh, which when you look up the, the, the body organ behind the forehead, when you put it on someone's forehead, it's, it's not like putting it in... Necessarily in the skin of your forehead. It's talking about behind your forehead, in your brain, which is, uh, which that is the uh, frontal lobe, right? Your frontal cortex, which controls your ability to speak and your ability to control your motor functions. So that lines up with the prophecy, okay? Harrell, before the trial, faced extreme difficulty in articulating understandable speech relying heavily on others to interpret his intentions. Okay. It says Dr. David Brandman, co-principal investigator of the study and a prominent neurosurgeon at UC Davis implanted four microelectrode arrays into Harrell's brain in July 2023. These arrays positioned in the left presential Gyrus, responsible for speech coordination, captured brain activity from 256 
cortical electrodes. The BCI then decoded these neural patterns into text. See, Esau has been given this, this spiritual power through technology in order to, it's all from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, right? By Hashem Yahweh Shai. He's been given this power to tap into the human body using technology that he creates from the elements in order to, you know, put it into a form that we can uh, perceive and receive to understand it. That's power. Okay. It says the BCI then decoded these neural patterns into text with the, which computer vocalized aloud and a voice resembling Harrell's pre-LS, ALS speech. And then you can have this AI technology recreate his voice in order to basically make him talk again. That's a miracle. Okay? Let me see what a precental gyrus is. Right? And what is this? Yep, like I said, the precental gy the precental gyrus. Uh motor gyrus of the posterior frontal lobe. Okay? Like I just said. See, I study this. I know this. Okay, through the spirit and power of your heart, about you know, we can we look deep into these things to understand what it really means when this um, forehead mark is introduced. The precensual gyrus is a prominent gyrus on the surface of the posterior frontal lobe of the brain. And when you go into the frontal lobe, the part of the body that we see is the forehead okay it says it is the site of the primary motor cortex like i said it controls speech patterns your thought area as well as um uh, um how you move you know your motor functions okay and you know what's a key see but the heavenly father gave us herbs right he gave us herbs and you know what's a good, uh, um, he gave us herbs, some foods that we can eat. And a good, a good uh, food or supplement to take that also helps with, um, you know, your neurons uh, firing and your frontal lobe. And, uh, you know, to help out, you know, you get certain vitamins like vitamin D and others to your um uh, you know, that controls your motor functions in your brain is uh, this uh, omega-3, okay? Which you can get from fish oil, cod liver oil, omega-3s, um, vitamin, vitamin D, vitamin A. But Esau, see, he'd rather put in this technology to control it, you know, like a... a um, and your body's not designed to take this take this type of technology in the body, okay? The body functions normally. It's what you put in your body, you know? But so, so when this is introduced worldwide, it's going to be a miracle in the eyes of the people, and they're going to worship the beast, the system. And pretty much what Esau's doing with this agenda and this transhumanist uh, um, movement it's pretty much taking the Heavenly Father out of the picture. That's why once this prophecy comes to pass in Revelation 13, all right, 16, 17, 18 verses, that's when the Lord is going to have things move quick. The, uh, uh, the climax of World War III is going to end in, uh, you know, nuclear destruction for Babylon the Great and the salvation of the Hebrew Israelites only will take place and then the kingdom will be given to Yahweh Shai. all right but first this this prophecy has to come to pass dealing with this technology so now let me go back to reading the rest of this it says the precentral gyrus is a prominent gyrus or gyrus right gyro 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 anyway on the surface of the posterior frontal lobe of the brain it is the site of the primary motor cortex that in humans is cytoarchitecturally defined 
is Broadman Area 4. So there's a whole science, you know, behind it. Um, yeah, the study of neuroanatomy. And that's a whole nother subject in itself. Okay? Um, and who has a lot of interest in that, I'll say, is you know, Elon Musk, neuroanatomy. Okay? Which is how he got his Neuralink off the ground. Anyway, uh, let's go back here. Right? It says, this technology is transformative because it provides hope for people who want to speak but can't, remarked Dr. Brandman. I hope that technology like this speech BCI will help future patients speak with their family and friends. Okay? Um, I'll read it because it's a short article after this. It's pretty much done. Learning basic vocabulary. The system's efficacy was evident from early trials, where after just 30 minutes of training, it achieved a 99.6 accuracy with the basic vocabulary. Sessions expanded the vocabulary, the vocabulary to 125,000 words with an impressive 97.5% accuracy rate, showcasing the showcasing the system's adaptability and reliability in real-time communication scenarios. So who's, 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 who's really uh, um, having this accuracy rate high like this? The Lord. He's speeding up the ability that Esau has and his capability with this technology because he's going to end this man's kingdom soon. Okay? Uh, the future of BCI technology. The study's lead author, Nicholas Card, emphasized the altruism of participants like Harrell who contribute to advancing medical science, not for personal gain, but to benefit others with similar challenges. Right, because other people with neurological issues, uh, according to Esau, could benefit from this tech, but it's just going to lead them to be able to really gain more control over the people all right that's why when you read revelation the 12th chapter it says that um the devil which devil means deceiver the devil come has come down unto you having great wrath he's going to come down on the people because at the same time he's speaking in these different uh, uh, uh meetings global meetings summits uh, um, um, G20 summits and other meetings saying how there's not enough food, there's not enough room on the earth, we have to depopulate. All of this is also a part of the plan too. But it will be easier to identify people if all you have to do is look on a, on a database. Like in this movie, right? You had this movie with uh, this comic book movie, uh, uh, X-Men, right? With Professor X. And he puts on that, uh, that headset. And with that headset, he can identify all the mutants through his uh, mutant power. It basically uh, enhances his mutant ability to find and identify mutants all over the world. But that's what Esau is going to do when he can look into a database with people that have these micro C hips in their bodies. And he can come after and identify who he needs to. But to the public, he's presenting it in a benevolent way when really there's malicious and, you know, malicious or, or and malevolent intent behind him gaining control. Can't forget about the Georgia Godstones, right? And, and uh, us brothers here at GMS Atlanta, we went there twice to do, you know, an on-site, on-location uh, lesson, live stream at that location years before it was destroyed. So, so, hey, look, man, the prophets have already been out here telling you and warning you about what's going on. You're not going to see IOIC do these types of things and speak on these topics. You're not going to have the IHUPK or even groups like HODC or GOCC that believe that the micro C hip is MOTB, but they don't push it, Okay. 
Sakara doesn't even push it like that. Not in the same capacity and um, fervor that Great Millstone does. All right? So it says, looking ahead, the research is an envision broader applications for this BCI technology. Yeah, buying and selling. Instead of you, if you're a paraplegic, I'm, I'm sorry, or a quadriplegic, and they can't put the micro C hip in your right or left arm, oh, well, they'll just give you this BCI tech, and you can go to the store, or you can be on your computer at home online and just use your thoughts to buy and sell, whether it's from Amazon or buy your groceries from Walmart or uh, uh, Instacart, you know, with a thought. So there's other applications for this technology. I mean, think about all the apps, right? Because apps are just applications. You know, think about all the apps that you have on your smartphone. Hey, 10 years ago, 10, 12, 13 years ago, when smartphones were first introduced, you couldn't uh, um, um, use, use your phone for tap and buying and selling. But over time, they applied the technology to the hardware of, of, the, phone, of, of the phones, developed the software, and now you can do biometric fingerprint. I remember, I remember that was big, you know, use fingerprint to open your phone adding biometrics to it so they can add more applications for this technology but it's just right now uh, uh they're pushing for it to to be greenlit medically so when they use it for other things well it's already has a hard pass from um, the medical world to be put in the humans so it says um looking ahead the researchers envision broader applications for this BCI technology, including enhancing mobility and independence for individuals with severe disabilities. The BrainGate 2 clinical trial, overseen by Dr. Brandman, continues to enroll participants, promising further innovations in neuroprosthetics. All right? Not just someone with a prosthetic arm or leg, all right? So this is how they're pushing it, man. Okay? So let me get a scripture. All right, let's go to Revelation 13. You know, hey, and as Apostle said, Paul Dar said, there's only really a, hand, a handful of scriptures that go in, into this uh, uh, prophecy. Okay? So it has to, it, ha it has to come out. It has to be broke down the right way. Okay, Revelation thirteen sixteen, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, all who, all people, to receive a mark, right, M A R K, and the right hand or in their foreheads, verse seventeen, and that no man might buy or sell. Save he that had the M A R K, the M O T B, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. This is the vibration he's in. The vibration of this system is, uh, it says, for it's the number of a man, Esau, Edom, and this number is 600, 3 score, and 6. And I did a recent lesson on this verse, you know, adding to uh, the. Uh, Adding a deeper, you know, another spiritual layer on the understanding um, you know, with the UPC code and how this uh BCI technology starting with Neuralink ties into this. You know. But anyway, you know, uh, um there's a major judgment coming. Okay, and all those people, let me get this, Revelation, is it 16? All those people that get this um, technology or this device in their heads, let me see. It 
is going to get a physical sore. Okay, 16-2. I just skipped it. It's going to get a grievous sore uh, when they um, take it. Revelation 16 and 2. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, speaking about the angel bringing the judgment. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the MOTB and upon them which earth worshipped his image. So he, there's going to be, just like people are having side effects from taking a jump shot, people are going to have side effects, uh, you know, in their brains, neurological issues, sores, ulcers, right? When you look up this word for sore in the Greek, and I'm about to close it, sore, which is helkos, <laughs> which means what? A wound producing a discharge, pus, a sore, an ulcer. So people are going to have physical ailments after taking these devices in their forehead or in their hand. Why? Because um, it's a foreign object. It's not supposed to be in these, you know, inside your body. Plus, after using it for so long, buying and selling, buying and selling, passive radiation and attached to uh, the constant upgrades of 5G, 6G, and all this smart technology, that's going to affect the human body, man, in a bad way. You know? And then when you go back to the 14th chapter, okay, there's a... Uh, a major judgment for those that take this device. Revelation 14. Uh, and, and 11. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. That smoke was going to come from the nuclear destruction. The missiles. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image. And whosoever receiveth the M-A-R-K of his name. So if you take this device, all right, and that word there for Mark is what? What is it? Karagma. Something cut into the skin, into the body, imprinted, Okay. You know, something in, engraved. Okay? So it's something physical. You know, just like you brand horses with a physical branding iron. Well, people that are going to get this device are going to have to get uh, an injection or in implantation of this device under the skin. All right? Hey man, the evidence is 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 growing day by day, man, of what the MOTB is. You know, so this is the judgment, okay? Verse 12, here is the patience of the saints. The saints are only Israelites. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High. Who keep the commandments? The Israelites. The other nations didn't receive the commandments. It says, in the faith of Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai said he was not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So with that, you know, I hope that this was edifying, an update on the MOTB.